Hello. How you doing? I met Stephen J. Carruthers and got a chance to talk to him for a few seconds. He's got a really thick accent. Uh, he's uh, from Tasmania. Um, this video is about 90 minutes, not 90, excuse me, uh, one hour long. I've seen it. Um, about 60% uh, of the math is over my head, but I understood about half of the math. But when uh, the laser interfer Laser Interferometry uh, Gravitational Wave Observatory made their so-called BS discovery. I was the first person on YouTube, I think, calling it a scam. Um, supposedly, they discovered gravity waves. They saw a blip. And I got a lot of hell for saying, oh, then these can't be, you know, you, you have to be wrong. I mean, these are, this is a mega million dollar facility, and uh, these are uh, PhD uh, scientists of particle physics and quantum theory. No, it's a scam. It's a fraud. Now, if you don't believe me, here's a guy you really should respect. He's a brilliant mathematician, an absolutely brilliant uh, astrophysicist. Um, absolutely brilliant. No crackpot stuff here. Everything he says is uh, completely backed up. And uh, he actually uh, draws the same conclusion at the end of this uh, one-hour-long video that I do. He basically uh, he describes why it's a fraud. And he uh, also describes uh, where they uh, supposedly got their detection is based upon uh, uh, conjecture and nonsense. And anyway, it's our long video. And he's giving it a, uh, the Thunderbolts uh, conference, I believe. This was 2017. But I made that first video saying that the Laser Interferometry uh, Gravitational Wave Observatory, so-called discovery of gravitational waves, from presumably uh, binary uh, black holes was absolute BS. By the way, scientists fundamentally don't even know what gravity is. They keep calling it a force, and of course it's not a force, it's an acceleration, which is the complete opposite of a force. And of course a wave is not a thing. There's no such thing as a wave. A wave is what something does, always and always. A wave is never what something is. A wave is what something does. The notion that we discovered gravitational waves is absolute uh, BS. Uh, he has all the math and all the logic to prove it. On and on and on and on. It's an hour-long video. I've actually watched it twice. I'll put the link below uh, for you. He goes over everything that they get wrong, all their illogical nonsense and inconsistencies with the holes big enough to drive a truck through. He tells you why it's a scam. He also tells you about some of these... Uh, uh, mega millionaire donors that keep sinking hundreds of millions of dollars into these guys and so they have to come up with something oh my god look we discovered it they have to make discoveries otherwise these people will stop donating money it is like a mass he actually i'm the first person that called it that when i made the video like a year and a half ago calling this a complete scam the so-called discovery of gravitational waves at the, the ligo observatory it's a mass media induced delusion that is used to funnel money back to these scientists. Nothing that they said that they actually discovered, they discovered. They did not discover that whatsoever. And if you watch this video, you'll be uh, completely convinced. And uh, I'll put the link uh, for it uh, below to you. Um, I didn't know this video was out there until just recently, and I enjoyed watching it twice. And this is actually the sort of stuff I love watching when I'm laying in bed right before I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, highly intelligent, intellectual material. So I really suggest you watch it because LIGO is a fraud. They did not discover, you know, I binary. Whoops. I'm going to watch that ugly commercial. Um, they did not discover gravity waves. They did not discover binary uh, black hole system. Oh, look, gravity waves. We see a blip. He tells you what the blip is. Their entire so-called discovery is based upon a blip from, their, uh, from the LIGO uh, interferometer. Uh, their conclusions and the notion that they discovered anything has absolutely no basis in fact whatsoever. And he proves it from absolutely every angle. It's a very brilliant video. Um, it's about 95% accurate. There's a couple really minor things that he gets wrong, but they're not relational to him absolutely destroying, you know, these uh, BS claims of the LIGO Observatory scientists. Um, these scientists get funding. I mean, they, they, they feed their families and themselves by making discoveries. And they say, well, this blip is anything. Look, we've discovered it. We built this um, mega hundred million dollar facility. Of course, you've got to discover something. Well, you'll never get funding again. 
That's actually the way it works. Um, there was actually a famous uh, SETI scientist who was going to get his money pulled in the search for extraterrestrial signals, and he faked this signal. I forget his name. He faked this signal. Like, oh, look, I, here's an alien reception. Just so he could get more funding and, you know, not have the carpet pulled out from under him, you know, looking for uh, alien uh, chatter on uh, huge um, interstellar uh, sat dishes. Not sat dishes, but the, uh, the uh, radio telescopes. I forget which radio. I don't know if it was Arecibo he was working at. I forget which radio telescope he was, he was funded to uh, do uh, alien signal uh, research and was funded to do, to, uh, do so. Kind of reminds you of that old jo Jodie Foster movie. But anyway, uh, check out the uh, Stephen uh, J. Carruthers video. That's not him. And it's on Thunderbolts Projects. And uh, check it out. Okay, You'll be both entertained and amused, and you'll see why the LIGO discovery is an absolute scam. Okay, It's a scam. Scientists are no different than anybody else. Most scientists don't even know what the scientific methodology is, a la... Um, Plato and Pythagoras, they, they don't actually follow a scientific method. And they always jump into something with, uh, usually, with the preconceived conclusions. They've already got the conclusions, and then they go looking for the proof of their conclusions. They, most scientists are not scientists by true definition. It doesn't matter how many PhDs they have, or what sort of doctorate they do or don't have. None of that confers wisdom upon anybody. Any idiot could study hard and, uh, you know, pass a bunch of tests and write a thesis and get a, uh, a doctorate in uh, physics or particle physics or theoretical physics, it doesn't mean they have any wisdom or intelligence, nor does it mean they actually have the ability to discern, you know, fact from fiction. Anyway, so check it out. Thank you.